Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Alma Day Online. My name is Daryl, I'll be your critic today. Today we're dealing with uh, another album from my slush pile. It's been sitting on my collection, haven't listened to it much, um, because I'm not a huge fan. Talking about these guys, talking about Big Sugar. This is the album called Yard Sale, which is uh, them, very um, sort of spur of the moment kind of recording. A uh, couple of their hits and uh, a bunch of other songs, uh, acoustic-like. Uh, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Big Sugar are always fun. Um, Yard Style is uh, an album that is definitely for diehard fans of the band. It's not going to earn them any new fans. Uh, it's going to be great for, you know, um, bar and patios that, say, do Sunday brunch. Want to have something uh, good and uh, and um, uh, you know uh, forgettable <laughs> on in the background, uh, and that, I mean that's what this is: uh, good and forgettable. It doesn't. It, it isn't obtrusive. Um, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't really you know uh, leave an impression, except that it's there. Uh, now, to be fair. Uh, Big Sugar have always kind of been that way for me. They're good, um, but they don't ever really leave a lasting impression with me. Now, that being said, um, you know, 500 pounds from 20-odd years ago, uh, I think really is the archetype uh, for a lot of uh, indie blues rock. You know, sort of that dirty blues sound, that sort of that, you know, more rock than blues, but definitely taking a lot of those influences. Uh, if Big Sugar had released, uh, you know, 500 pounds, say, in the last five years during the whole Black Keys, White Stripes heyday, uh, Gordy Johnson and company would be catapulted into a higher level of success than they ever have been. And they've done very well for themselves. Big Sugar has been a, a, a constant draw in the Canadian music landscape for 20 plus years now. And they deserve every success they've received. Just for me, um, and again, I, I, I have said this before, blues uh, doesn't really do much for me. Uh, I find it to be... Um, as much as every other music can be as well, but the repetitiveness and the predictability of the blues um, just leaves me cold. Um, that being said, uh, Big Sugar have always had a certain je ne sais quoi um, that brings uh, always a funness to their music. Um, it's not an album, uh, and frankly none of their records have ever been an album that I uh, will go to purposefully but when it's on, I always tend to enjoy it. So, um, if you missed this record, it was released last year. It's called Yard Style, and it is um, a very pleasant acoustic blues reggae, uh, you know, record. It's worth listening to, um, especially if you're a big Sugar fan and haven't managed to pick it up yet, or it's sort of was released under the radar for you. Pick up Yard Style, uh, you won't be disappointed. If you're not a, an existing fan of Big Sugar, go ahead and skip it. If you are wondering what should I get from Big Sugar, uh, there was a great, um, there was a fantastic greatest hits package that came out about mm, 10 years ago now that is certainly worth picking up. Um, uh, and uh, 500 pounds is uh, definitely uh, worth picking up if you want to be introduced to uh, a, a fantastic Big Sugar record. My name is Daryl. Don't stop listening to music. Don't stop discovering stuff that's new to your ears. Um, don't stop listening to albums. The album format is not dead. It's not dead. Um, go out. Enjoy music. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends about um, this wacko who likes to talk about music as if he actually knows what he's talking about. My name is Daryl. I've been your critic. Have a great day.